All right, we're at the uh, uh, Motorcyclopedia Annex. This is where we store all the pre-exhibit motorcycles and related uh, artifacts, you know, before it actually goes on display. So we came down here today to explain basic similarities over the last hundred years. You know, this is 2020, and then this Peugeot, made in, made in France, 1904. Of course, now we've went to electric. Electric over the last 15 years, you know, became more compact. So the motors, of course, this motor is in the rear hub. Battery maybe is the size of a quart of milk. So you can get a very small battery to do a lot of work. Rob took this up the hill the other day doing 20 miles an hour, up a pretty steep grade, probably a 30% grade at 20 miles an hour. So, you know, that's basically, you know, the future. The light weight of the motorcycle is still important as far as the overall footprint and the size. So motorcycles are important that way. Otherwise, we're talking about motorcycles you know, what the museum displays is primarily, you know, gas-powered vehicles from the late 1800s through the 1970s. You know, a lot of transition. I think the earliest electric vehicle we have is 1920, made in England. So that's something uh, was early electric. If we want to go back to the U.S., and not so much for motorcycles, but for cars, between 1910 and, say, 1914, New York City realized that, you know, electric is a viable option. We talk about a lot of the products. The other part of the museum, you know, I know we're, everybody's kind of interested in electric now, but we're interested in a lot of the, the processes for the products. You know, the casting, the forging, you know, that's involved in constructing something, you know, a wheel rim how it's made. I think if people go into a store or to look at anything, are they interested in how it's made? So this is actually, you know, educational. We're headed more towards uh, younger people, children, that would be interested in, you know, how something's made. What's it made out of? I just like helping Ted out with this stuff. I mean, I love motorcycles. My dad has two at home. Um, it's one of the coolest things just to be driving down the road in one of these and just, you know, win winning your hair, bugs in your teeth type of thing, you know?